Well, globalization has really characterized the global supply chain management industry over the last two to three decades, but that all could be about to change. Uh, as is well known, there's been a large amount of unbundling and outsourcing of production processes, mainly to Asia, mainly to China, because of the low-cost labor forces in these, in these countries. But labor uh, prices are rising in China, and that means that countries who are closer to the end-user markets, for example in Mexico, in the case of the US, are growing in importance. And that means a lot of repatriation of management uh, and manufacturing to these countries. So I can see that uh, globalization is coming back, uh, is ending in many ways and coming back to more local and regional supply chains. And this will be, uh, this trend will be very much helped by growing levels of protectionism around the world as well. For example, the uh, recent election uh, in the US could be an example of this if this results in more protectionism, that more com companies will want to manufacture goods in their home markets of the USA or indeed in Europe. I think at the moment it's very unclear what impact Brexit will have on the European supply chain industry, but we can actually think ahead in various different scenarios. Uh, for example, uh, if the UK uh, retailers were able to source more goods from outside Europe, say from Africa or from Asia or from Latin America, uh, particularly in the food sector, then we could see the growth of more intercontinental movements of goods and less regional road-based distribution uh, around Europe. If there is more international movements of goods, we're going to see more volumes flow into airports and ports, and then we're going to see more warehousing being built at these ports for distribution around the UK. So it's very difficult to say exactly what's going to be happening, but I would say that it's actually good news for the freight forwarding, for the international shipping and the air cargo industries.